So check, check. All right. Um, hi, everyone. Um, please stay silent. And, okay. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Novice Quarterfinal Round of NUC 2023. Woo! In opening government, we have Mahasaraswati dan Pasar. In opening opposition, we have Poltek Negeri Padang. In closing government, we have Isi Jogja. And in closing opposition, we have Palangkaraya. All right, now I would like to introduce the panel of judges. Hi, everyone. My name is Daud, and I'm going to be the chair of this round. I'm from University of Surabaya, and judging alongside with me are amazing panel of judges. Um, we have Jane, we have Jason, we have Grace, and we have Marvin. Woo! All right, uh, before we start the round, just a several reminders. The number one, this is a recording round, which means everybody, please be moderate, please be polite, please... Um, pay attention to the wording that you're going to use. Please pay attention to the equitable interactions that you're going to use. Second of all, uh, for observers, please maintain the quorum. Please do not be noisy. Please do not be whispery. Please do not and stay civil inside of the round. Uh, because this is a quiet big room, we want to make sure that we can listen and understand the speaker even uh, in, in a clear manner. Uh, third of all, uh, please do have your own timer for debaters. Uh, do time yourself. We're going to have a timer here, but it would be better if you have your own. And lastly, please check your mic before you start your speech or before you're offering POI. I hope everything is clear. So under the motion that, th that this House believes that ASEAN has failed Southeast Asian countries, I would like to call upon the Prime Minister. Here. <laughs> Check, check. I'm audible. Okay, thank you for your confirmation. I'm going to start my speech in three, two, one. Well, judges, well, judges, at the moment, as we can see, eventually ASEAN has a huge responsibility to gain development and sustainability in South Asian countries, ladies and gentlemen. But as we can see, eventually, there's a lot of issue that still exists in the uh, so it's unsure, it's senior. For example, like six games, completely mess, where there's a lot of things get complained by the participant country in on in Cambodia, even in Yemen. For example, fail to give good com competition in sea games, fail to build the facilities, choose the traditional sport, has the sea games deficiency, cheats, and we see if actually this. Is, is a cheat way to win the games, ladies and gentlemen. We see what, as the government side of this house, those countries need not to need not try to build a good relationship between those uh, between its country, ladies and gentlemen, and so that's just. And they, what they are trying to do is to show the superiority in ASEAN, ladies and gentlemen. This is see games what looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Well, for example, like Thailand doing something harm to Indonesia player, punch the Indonesian player, and. Uh, in the sea games, because they just lost, for example. ASEAN just give a small punishment, not try to build a better environment by giving a huge punishment to those players, ladies and gentlemen. We see what? If actually ASEAN really don't have a power in this case, ladies and gentlemen, we do believe that actually the ASEAN can give a better punishment in order to uh, f prevent this kind of thing happen anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, well, ladies and gentlemen, as my statement before, if actually ASEAN is the one that has responsibility in order to gain development and sustainability in those countries. For example, in economic aspect, in political aspect, uh, human right, uh, gain equality in the human right in every country, and so on and so forth, ladies and gentlemen. We do believe that there's a lot of still problems in developing countries, especially in the South Asia, South Asia, ladies and gentlemen. For example, first Timor-Leste, for example, Brunei, even Indonesia, ladies and gentlemen. We see ASEAN is a very potential country, actually. Country that possible to be a their country in the next future, ladies and gentlemen. But ASEAN, as the stakeholder, as the supervisor, fail to gain a contribution to build the bonding in its country, ladies and gentlemen. We do believe that if actually fail to gain bonding 
to each country is a very bad uh, respond, a very bad losing gentleman. For example, Malaysia and Indonesia, they still claiming it's other cultures, ladies and gentlemen. We see actually the one that take action of this is not ASEAN, but it's um, other, for example, like uh, not ASEAN anymore, but there's other uh, organization that take care to make uh, this clear, ladies and gentlemen, to do a mediation, and that is not ASEAN, ladies and gentlemen. And we still see if actually Thailand and Indonesia is really f uh, they fight in Sea Games, and also Kamboja for Indonesia flag really bad in the event ceremony, ladies and gentlemen. We see if actually there is very like check and balance that exists that created by ASEAN, ladies and gentlemen. We do believe that if actually ASEAN take care of this, of course there is no uh, this kind of thing can happen, ladies and gentlemen. For example, giving an education to those countries, if actually this relationship is very important and you cannot mess by just doing that, ladies and gentlemen. You need to understand first and that with that what so ASEAN do, ladies and gentlemen. We do believe that if actually ASEAN also feel creating regulation and teamwork even in the economy aspect, ladies and gentlemen. For example, like to take care of each other, for example, we can see faculty member list is still uh, struggling with their economic, ladies and gentlemen. And we can see faculty, a lot of Indonesia economy uh, regulations still need collaboration in order to creating a better informal, uh, economy in ASEAN and also especially Indonesia, ladies and gentlemen. We do believe that if Indonesia and also other country, in, for example, like Thailand and so Vietnam has a better uh, tourism industry, but see what? If at least a lot of, for example, like, uh, Fr France and also USA, if we compare in order to uh, beautiful of the nature of keindahan alam, we see if actually Indonesia and Vietnam and other country still has a better uh, natural beautiful ladies and gentlemen. We see if what if actually ASEAN should be collaborator in order to gain uh, participant uh, or tourists to those countries, ladies and gentlemen. We do believe that if actually ASEAN should be the one that in charge to increasing the quality of those countries, ladies and gentlemen. Because of what? Because ASEAN is a very, uh, we do believe that if actually ASEAN has the power to do this kind of things, ladies and gentlemen. For example, they have a lot of budget, for example. They already have access to, uh, in order to ask the information from Indonesia and also Vietnam, for example. They can create a collaborator to increase the, party, the tourism in the South Asia country, ladies and gentlemen in order to beat, for example, like USA and also like um, France, for example, in order to sort as country uh, become the first in order in tourism world, ladies and gentlemen. But now, what? Uh, there's very, very like uh, contribution f comes from ASEAN, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, as, as explained before, actually, there's still a lot of political issue that exists, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for example, like Sea Games, and we do believe that exactly between uh, those countries, for example, in Vietnam, Indonesia, can have a better political regulation, ladies and gentlemen. For example, if actually, as we can see, if actually Indonesia is not going to make uh, South ASEAN as South ASEAN area as a main uh, purpose of their export import ladies and gentlemen. Because of what? Because other country, for example, like Vietnam, Indonesia, has a good relationship with USA and China, ladies and gentlemen. It means what? It means like. ASEAN uh, actually so one providing those platform in order to gain a uh, good teamwork in South Asia's country, ladies and gentlemen. We do believe that if actually South Asia's country, for example, like Indonesia, they already have a lot of uh, terrace rice, right? A lot of metal, for example, lithium. If actually we collaboration and Singapore has a good technology, for example, if actually these South Asian country together and create a great uh, collaboration, we do believe that even USA and China cannot take uh, cannot take those market in South Asian country, ladies and gentlemen. So that mean what? If actually ASEAN is the one that in charge to create a platform, right? To create a platform to work together as a team, and uh, there is no, uh, there is still lack of that, ladies and gentlemen. We do believe that if actually this is very important in order to make uh, all of the South ASEAN country to gain their economic, to gain a better future for all of them, ladies and gentlemen. Because as we can see, if actually there's a lot of human rights issue, for example, and we do believe that if actually ASEAN is the one actually care if actually what is wrong and what is bad, ladies and gentlemen. Because of what? Because we do believe that ASEAN has capability to do that, but unfortunately, ASEAN failed to do this kind of things, ladies and gentlemen. ASEAN should be creating a better environment, and we do believe that because ASEAN can provide those kind of things. Like if we compare to Uni Europe, for example, or PBB, for example, that has a control to over the world, PBB can get success, and also Uni Europe a success, for example. This is see what if actually ASEAN is failed compared to all of those countries, ladies and gentlemen, all of the organization, ladies and gentlemen. PBB can have a power in order to get a 
prevent the crisis economy, but ASEAN cannot do this kind of things, ladies and gentlemen. So, as the government side of this house, we believe that Falkland Asian has failed, and we do believe that we are proud to propose this motion. Thank you. Check my audible now. Okay. My peer preference is just stand up and raise your hand. And I will start my speech in three, two, one. Panels, as we know that the opening of opening government are failed to characterize what kind of violet that they are talking about. Are this violet are they are, are this violet are the, the goals that happening for the helping the South Asian are success or not? Or maybe the violet that the are and are not can be doing great doing great so it will be impacting for the ASEAN country that have been in the ASEAN country for itself. So I think the opening government are failed to characterize what violet are talking about and doesn't giving the a concrete, a concrete, a concrete example, example of the file of the 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 file of the ASEAN itself. So it will be, so it will be, uh, it will be, so it will be, uh, it will be. Uh, so sorry. So I will, as the opening opposition, will be uh, will be make uh, the make the the make the educators that we are should believe that ASEAN is already helping the status quo right now, and they are giving the a lot contributions contribution for the those country in ASEAN in ASEAN itself. First, first thing up, first thing first. Let give let give some uh, definition. What kind of uh, what is ASEAN itself? ASEAN is the alliance between the South as uh, South East country, example in like example Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei, uh, Laos, Thailand, and, and etc. And also for the, for also before they are going the alliance, they are they are have a same goals to helping each other, each other like example like the financial issues, uh, financial issues, infrastructure, or maybe about the about the about the about the economic maintenance for the those ASEAN in the those those country in the ASEAN so the in the South ASEAN country itself. So as me, so we so we as the open opposition we are believed that the ASEAN already giving a lot of contribution and we are cannot see the example that bring in from the opening government about the ASEAN for the ASEAN ASEAN game system and etc etc. So first thing what can, what uh, what of the project that already be successful by the ASEAN? As we know, uh, as we know lately, there's uh, uh, the natural disaster that happening in Indonesia, like example tsunami in the Sulawesi, Sulawesi in the last years, in the past years. Uh, as we know that ASEAN already giving the charity to the to the Sulawesi to help in the infrastructure to build in the infrastructure in that in the Sulawesi, and uh, and also for the for the, those ASEAN country already helping the Sulawesi to to bring to uh, to. Uh, building, building, building again about the infrastructure, with, uh, helping the, in the financial issues, and also giving the charity for those, uh, for those uh, society that that uh, that already uh, that already uh, already in the tsunami tsunami itself. So I think this is the one of the what of the example that the ASEAN already so being successful, being successful to helping the South ASEAN country itself. And also the another example, another example like the the uh, earthquake in the in the Thailand. Sorry, the, the earthquake in the Thailand that they are giving the charity to giving the charity to the giving the charity to the Thailand and helping for the and helping the those and the those uh, the those area to this area to, uh, to the infrastructure to making this to making the the country it can be uh, work again in, in the end of the day. So this is the one of the example about the social and regional stability. As we know that ASEAN are already being caring about the all have, that all the status quo that happening in the ASEAN itself. So that itself, it will be, and we can say that ASEAN doesn't having a lot of contribution that are uh, that, that coming from the opening government. This is this is the this is the, the this is the, the this is the exclusive uh, the, the exclusive point that that can be proved that ASEAN is having a lot of contribution for the all things that are happening in the ASEAN and also and ASEAN and also uh, about the Malaysia about the and also. 
and also ASEAN already uh, already aware uh, aware and cons and aware about the about the all things that are happening in the ASEAN. For moving to the next argument about the regional stability in ASEAN, as we know that ASEAN having a lot of a lot of same about their culture, about their culture, about their uh, language, uh, about uh, about maybe the vision, the vision and mission about their country itself. So. Even so, like, even so, even if that, uh, even if that you are already, even if you are that, uh, even if that, that we are talking about the, about the, about the country have a lack of the lack of support, lack of support. So ASEAN will be, will be, will be giving the supporting for the, for the those, for the, those areas, for those areas, for the areas to be, to be giving the support and make the, and make this area will be, will be more, uh, more advancing in the end of the day. And also ASEAN already giving the financial support for those areas to make, to make sure that the, to make sure that the, the country will be, will be advancing in the end of the day. So as, so we as the opening government believe that the all things that will be happening for the ASEAN, all the things that have been giving. The already given by the ASEAN is will be give is already say at the said that the ASEAN ha already having already giving the contribution support and also being a consideration for the all happening in the in the Southeast ASEAN country itself. So we as the so and also about the economic maintenance also there's a lot of the there's a lot of the things happen like export import export import investment business corporation and between the each within the each uh, South ASEAN country itself so we did this, so we did the, the existence of the ASEAN being the bridging for the those country to make a good relationship about the business about the business about the business relation itself and the ASEAN being the being the being the bridging to helping this to this this kind of the business and to to helping and support to, to support the for the Developing, developing, uh, developing industries and uh, and developing industries and also the business that happening in the ASEAN ASEAN status quo right now. So it is so uh, so with this this kind of example that already that I that we as the opening opposition bringing that ASEAN is can we say that they are valid to valid in South Asia country because as we know that ASEAN already. That we know that ASEAN already giving a lot of consideration, consideration and aware about the hell happening with, with all that happening in the South ASEAN country itself. So, so with it, so with the opening of government saying that they are valid, they are already giving the already failed giving what kind of valid that we that will be that will be happening in the it will be happening in the in the our status quo. But we as the opening opposition we are already proving that the ASEAN have a lot of contribution and also have a lot of a uh, lot of the what kind of evidence that already be happening in ASEAN itself. And we can we and we can talk about the ASEAN with the ASEAN is game itself because there's because we because there's a lot of things that already happening and coming and give the, the then being then giving the advantage and also the benefit for the South Asian country itself. So we ask the opening opposition are proposed uh, so broadly oppose this motion. Thank you. Test. Okay. Uh, for the gender pronouns, it's she or her, and I would like to start my speech in three, two, one. All right, judges. Now, uh, as we know, the purpose, the goals of the Asian itself is actually the the parameter of the goals of the Asian actually is how developing how how much the countries in the Southeast Asian is already developed until right now in the current status quo. And in the opposition opposition side of the house, they just only giving the one one example. For example, like charity uh, as the one of the goal that or the program that already created by the Asian itself. But in our side of the house, we we think that charity is not the exclusive uh, goals. That could create the development in equally in other countries in Asia, for example, from Malay, Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, Filipina, Timor Leste, and other countries, for example, because the charity itself is only given to one country. And actually, uh, as the charity itself, the 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 money that, that, that they get from the charities actually come from the society. So the 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 society itself that they already giving the money. 
today, today this kind of certain organization, for example, like Asian, they do expect like the money, the, the output of this money is to be uh, to be given to the country that already uh, need need this kind of money. So that's why this charity is actually exists in the very first place. So in our in our case, we do believe is Asian is actually still failed uh, in the Southeast Asian countries in the several aspects that we have that, that already uh, mentioned by my first speaker. So the first thing uh, in the sport, the first aspect is in the, in, in the sport where we could say in the Sea Games, in in actually instead of uh, instead of Asian uh, helping to uh, improve the quality of the athlete, we we do think it's actually this kind of composite sport competition is actually the, uh, still has the political issues and also still has uh, uh, where the people where one country was trying to attack other countries. For example, in the Sea Games rules, where we can see the first uh, the rules that they has is adding certain specific uh, sports. For example, in Indonesia, if they have uh, sports like pancak silat, they could add that in the Sea Games, and they could also arrange or even set the limitation about how much or how many athletes that they want to send in certain kind of. Uh, or a, a sports, uh, a sports, uh, a, in kind of a sports system, for example. So in this kind of thing, we do we, we already know about. Uh, in this kind of thing, we do uh, we can see already about this inequality that still exists in the in these countries, uh, especially in the Southeast Asia. And what what the what does the Asian do for this is actually nothing. So that's why this kind of uh, inequality still exists in the Southeast Asian countries. And instead of developing and supporting uh, the people that trying to achieve their dreams actually uh, the Asians set the limitation about uh, the country that trying to do uh, or trying to compete in this kind of certain competition that, that's held in under the Asian uh, under the Asian Southeast Asian countries and the next thing in Asia, Southeast Asian is actually rich in culture and also the nature as what my first speaker ID said if Indonesia for example has a rich a variety amount of culture like Raja Ampat for example uh, in Papua in Bali we have uh, Uluwatu temple for example in in uh, NTT, we have uh, the uh, many other uh, tourism places, and also so so does with the Thailand, for example, when they have the Grand Palace to be promoted, and this 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 example of the country like Asian, like Indonesia, and also Thailand is already the, it's already well known in the society, right? They already well known with the culture and also the nature. But how about the other countries? It still lack with the uh, we still lack with the notice or even the the notice from the other countries in the in the world, for example. This kind of thing things the uh, it's it's because it's this kind of thing still happen because the Asian is still less promoting the, the risk of culture and also the nature in uh, certain countries in the Southeast Asia. So that's why the impact of the other countries, uh, the inequality is the countries that are already rich uh, or already uh, developed in the in the tourism, it's uh, it will still develop and also well known by the other countries. And how about the countries that still not it still lack with the notice or even still lack with the uh, visiting of by the tourism? It's it will be still there, ladies and gentlemen. The gap between this kind of country uh, they already developed in tourism for example and also uh, the, the country that haven't even developed with the uh, tourism itself uh, it's still it still be there because of the lack of uh, promoting and what the Asian should do for example they have to promote the countries for example uh, uh, that, that still like with the uh, with the notice by the other people Indonesian and also Thailand for example as the country that already um, uh, already uh, in developed by the by the tourism it's they can be there because of the country itself uh, equally promote the the culture and as the as the as the as the participate by the Asian, they should help the other countries that already like with education about how the Timor Leste, for example, lack in education, where Timor Leste cannot doesn't even know how to promote their uh, tourism, for example, or even the Timor Leste already like lack in the technology compared with the other countries, like, for example, like Singapore and Thailand. It this is this countries actually has to be need, need to be the focus uh, of the of the Asian, ladies and gentlemen, where they have to uh, they have to create the equal development in this this country. Especially uh, where this country already rich in nature and also the culture. So this kind of thing, this is the the strong example where the Asian is actually failed to uh, develop uh, to to make the countries under under the side to be developed e equally. And also the the other example is where the uh, the other countries, for example, like uh, ex Singapore, it still like uh, still have the ignorance itself. Uh, to help the other countries is it, it is actually not really necessary the, the fault by this country for example but this because this already the gap in this uh, the, in the Southeast Asian 
countries is already exist uh, because of the uh, because of Asian doesn't even really taking care of the gap itself. Instead, it create the bigger gap for the countries. It creates, it makes the the countries still ignorance and focusing into their countries because the countries is still developing, right? The, all of the countries under the Asian is still uh, the so in the Southeast Asia is still developing themselves. So they just need to focusing into themselves rather than helping uh, the other countries in the, in in order to, for example, like promoting their uh, culture and etc. And also the the technology, the inequality in the technology. It's uh, what, what is the cause of this? The lack of education, right? As we can see, Indonesia. It's, it's still actually like in education, com uh, like in education, also the technology compared with the Singapore. This kind of this kind of gap actually needs to be uh, needs to be uh, needs to be uh, taken care of by the Asian itself as an organization, where they have to, for example, like. Uh, Giving the uh, giving the change for the the students in Indonesia, for example, to create the other technology system, for example, or other countries where these uh, Asian organization have to uh, help the people to improving their standard of edu education in this country, for example, to helping them being equal because the development itself should be equal. That's why the standardization of the success will be exist, and Asian is still uh, cannot uh, cannot uh, cannot be titled as the success organization because many countries under the Asian still in equal in order culture sports technology and education thank you Further, uh, your preference, just raise up your hand, and I don't have anything to pronounce. I'm gonna start my speech in three, two, one. Well, panels are uh, actually before giving some responses towards what the opening government has told. I think uh, clear, uh, sadly, that the uh, the deputy of minister from the opening government could not explain well about the definitions of failure. Well, I do understand that the failure means for you is like uh, some kind of, uh, you know, inefficient programs that are not done well by these communities. But it still uh, doesn't. It, it's still not enough for saying that entire ASEANs are failed for finishing after giving some contributions, right? So as you know, these ASEANs are actually the, about the association of Southern, where then, yeah, everyone knows the interest of the ASEAN actually about how to cooperate in aim to support and discuss several issues regarding on their, on their uh, countries, on their some economic issues, or even the social, cultural that happening there, and also the regional corporation for solving every problems there, but then comes to the uh, comes uh, to the motions where now the opening government believe that this is has become a failure for Asian for the Southeast Asian country, and the LG bring us uh, the definition or characterization that they have say, giving so so much examples like how they are uh, how the Thailand uh, how giving no punishment for them who are fail of who are not clear enough for the sea games or the sport competitions because adding just several competition in Indonesia and it going to lead inequality. I don't do think it's urgency to say that they have they have uh, they are failed for this. This is just a fault. They just faults that Everything, uh, you know, actually the failure is something that you cannot continue with to the next level. When you are failed, it means that you cannot continue it and you have to stop it or whatsoever. And I don't think the OG try to say, they just uh, finding the negative sides of how the program will not work at the end of the day. So the, is it is it going to guarantee to us that a lot of entire programs or contributions for decades has been uh, con not consideration as the successful? So. Let's uh, see what the, some kind of contributions are about. Uh, due to the regional stability or the regional cooperation, they've contributed to the maintenance of peace and the stability in the South Asia. Successful in preventing major conflicts between member states and have has facilitated implementation and dialogue negotiation. And when you say the program, one of the program doesn't run well. They have inequalities. Well, we do. Uh, we you should understand the inequality. Progress of each countries in these South Asians, due to their political dynamics, due to their economic status, cannot 
were just run together to be that equal, right? That's why the ASEAN comes because they are not equal and they have to solve it together. But it doesn't mean that at the end of the day, these countries should be, you know, should be should finish all this problem for five years or not. They have also uh, their own limit, uh, their own, you know, like uh, progressing time for that because due to this dynamical situation, right? So this inequality, this inequality. Uh, going to be perfect well if you said it uh, the inequality if uh, one of the countries are not helped the other countries are helped no no the inequality you said right now from the status quo that you're forcing to say to us well look Indonesia look how, look the Brunei Salam look at well Brunei Salam how well developing yes you cannot compare to them due to several populations that we are having also uh, several population and of course cannot be considered as equality so this kind of equality are not something like origin for this ASEAN to be successful at the end of the day right so the failure still uh, so these contributions like uh, the second argue, uh, the second contributions given by the action like you know economic integration several issues regarding their economic stuff like some several investments in uh, every country some of the you know like uh, problems that solved by this country and with each dynamic politic with each dynamic economic or during this country everyone associated in this kind of forum to find a solution based on their interest and based on how what the problem is right so I think it's proven enough that the the ASEAN has failed it when it's due to the failure of each country itself well it's not responsibility of the ASEAN at the end of the day that's their personal problem that's the country's problem Asian is just giving you the platform how to finish it so it doesn't mean when you give an a pro uh, when when you give me the example like a sea games like this for there's a political issue well that's just the lack of the programs like there's still a, a check and balance at the end of the day and how these programs in the next year should be but it doesn't go but it doesn't cover up all the co contributions that been made by this ASEAN so I don't think the parameter of failure you give or the failure of each programs is the most effective re uh, as effective contribution happening in the day and also look how the this ASEAN help them to set uh, powers of diplomacy. Every everyone knows that when you want to go to the international and you want to find the European American, of course you have something that to be in the equal with them. Like at least you have to join some organization so that you can uh, like simply like you want to talk uh, to go to the national. You had going to have to compete with the regional competition or you get, have to meet the regional. So in order you have some powers that they could stand in the national. That, therefore, it also comes to this ASEAN when they have to join the ASEAN in order to have the you know some power diplomacy. They have already been successful for for decades of years to set these powers diplomacy so when they are gathered to when they are gathered to promote their countries they have been not enough power because they are in this kind of a uh, the kind of included in this kind of organization to be uh, to be in the top of the world's global uh, organization whatsoever so I think diplomacy has also been work well with this ASEAN and the after, and also the opening government could not provide to us then if they have failed if they have felt like what you say, if they have felt the Southern ASEAN countries, then what's next? Look at the status quo. It's still progressive, you know, it's still existing in our So it doesn't mean that even if, uh, if it's failed and if it's believed that uh, it is not going to be contributed at the end of the day, I think uh, the ASEANs will not continue and will, will have have died like a long time ago, have died like a 10 times ago. Even So our, your matter right now is about how about the conflicts? Well, every every programs or every things that run, I, I do think that it's not going to be perfect, right? It's not going to be perfect. There's going to be an error. There's going to be uh, things. Well. So we, the only thing to do is just how to make it successful, how to make it run well, right? By finishing this faults that you're saying so it's actually not failure but it's just faults faults and failure are two kind of different of things what i do say and uh saying like uh, some kind of uh, like you know asean regional foundations where they also uh, trying to help us for the securities in every country it's like we see the myanmar in 2010 we won asean has been contributed well enough just to maintain the securities and just to maintain how to continue there's no problem with with the myanmar and also so several disaster several disaster that are happening in our in several countries in asean like indonesia how many several disaster that have been come in indonesia and asean has successfully contributed well for this one to help them well even at the end of the day it's not achieving their goals but it's still there is still an 80 percent but the government doesn't appreciate this 18 percent progress of the of the action i say they're just uh, taking this 20 percent as a failure and it forgets everything why is it so over glorifying on to say failure it's just uh it's just a false that could be done by the trial and error and could be done by the fixing your check and balances on the government on how the organization should work right so i don't think any urgency is coming to the governing government or even from the closing closing government that will give us uh, perhaps 
several more uh, extended ex examples for that. It's still believing as uh, you know, it's still believed as uh, faults that made for efficient, in inefficient programs that that just that they concluded as a closure, as a clo as a failure for this. And I'm very proud to oppose. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we as the closing government, we completely agree and we completely acknowledge the idea that the opening opposition have been defending, which is in the status quo, inequality happens because the, the, these countries of Asian countries are progressing in a different in a different pace, which is why we are here today. We are talking about the lack of cooperation in the member among member countries of the Asians. This is why inequality happens because cooperation is lacking. Inequality happens, and if, it, even if there is cooperation, like they said, it is not significant enough. Okay, they talk about there is cooperation, which is like, uh, for example, helping Sulawesi when they um, when they face a natural disaster, which is an interesting idea. Because do we really need to wait around for? natural disaster to happen or for chaos to happen or for detrimental stuff to happen in order for the role of cooperation to take place like is that is that is that what asian is, is just to mitigate natural disaster this is not what we are fighting for okay so they they claim that there is import export relationship between asian countries which is yes we agree we agree but we know that there this is not irrelevant because we do have trade relationships with so many other countries outside of asian so why should that be irrelevant because i mean like that is the bare minimum that we have as a as an asian as a as a cooperative organization right and also the OGs that talked about um the OJ pro provides a good idea about um, there is a lack of promotion in Asian countries. That, therefore, why we are still um, there's inequality and stuff, and therefore we need cooperative promotion. But this is not quite feasible due to the cultural differences and a tendency to fight over cultural ownership, like they said earlier. And this is not solving the most urgent issue, right? And and then, and the second of all, they they talk about technological and educational equality is what we are aiming for. I mean, yes, but this is. It all starts with money to keep this idea sustainable in the long term. Since economy is still an obstacle for most developing countries of Asia, so we believe that cooperation is what we need. Cooperation in economy an economic cooperation is what we desperately need. Okay, so the um, so the opening government unfortunately failed to um, define the the most urgent situation. Why we are here today to talk about this? Okay. Please understand that the main problem, the urgency that OO unfortunately overlooked is that most of Asian countries are still developing. We are still considered the global south of the global economy. Most Asian countries are still um, acting as a peripheral country for core countries. And what I mean by this is that core countries being superpower countries such as United States and everything, they still do offshoring, offshoring like they still use the labor, they still buy the labor and raw materials on, on um, these Asian countries. And this is what we want to change. We don't want to be peripheral countries anymore. And how can we, and how can we change? How can we move into a peripheral country, into a core country? We need to do it together as a whole because that is what Asian is all about, cooperation. And what we need to stress about is we really need economic cooperation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so a union, a cooperation, Cooperative, cooperative organization, organization means nothing without cooperation. So if they are still defending the status quo about like we need to help when there is um, urgency and whatever, then why do we have this Asian, Asian organization at all, right? So ladies and gentlemen, please understand that as a member of Asian, we still 
haven't find any significant benefit of being a member of Asian. Hence, why we said that Asian has failed us as uh, Asian member countries. So here, um, here there are there are uh, important important stakeholders here. Number one is Singapore. Singapore has the ability to be a model to other Asian countries. They have reached their um, success, and as a member of Asian, they of course have to be willing to help other countries on the mechanism that I will uh, that I will explain later on. Okay, so why Asian? Asian is a cooperative organization that has no cooperation at all. Because number one, there is still inequality and disparity amongst Asian countries, as the OJ has said, and among countries outside Asia as well, as I said about the core and the peripheral relationships with um, our core countries outside of Asia, right? And number two, stagnant growth, because we still grow individually and not as a whole. I mean, yes, Singapore is a developed country, and, and yes, they're not developing anymore, which is why with rapid economic growth and technological advantage, they they should they are an important stakeholder in this debate. They could help us. They could elevate the other con member countries, and therefore cooperation that is Asian core idea will finally be alive and finally be come into place. Now, why what should be present in the Asian that is lacking, ladies and gentlemen? So. We are lacking a system that pushes economically together as a whole. That as the Asian shall not only act as a as a gather round together, but they should have a system, a cooperative system, especially in terms of economy development. Because as I said earlier, the, what is very urgent is the economy development into a, to build a sustainable future. Now, number one, we need a system for surveillance, monitoring, and providing macroeconomic advices to low, um, low middle income countries. And number two, technical assistance, providing guidance and training to low middle income countries in managing their economy so that they won't be any, they, they won't be peripheral countries anymore. They can be their own core countries. And number three, lending to countries facing balance of payment problems by developed Asian countries such as Singapore to low middle income countries. This is what we call in cooperation. This is the cooperation that we need. And this is why, and therefore, Asia has failed us because this cooperation, this kind of cooperation, this system is not non-existent as we all say, as we all, uh, as I have said before, because the only time that we truly feel a cooperation is when there are natural disasters, when there are urgency, when it should be mitigated, which it can, it can easily be mitigated with a, a perfectly cooperative system amongst, amongst these Asian countries. So, therefore, we proudly propose this motion. Thank you very much. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the opening bench has been uh, focused way too much on what uh, what kind of results and uh, what kind of expectation that they need to come from Asian to become a fully uh, uh, so to what they need to fulfill. But we also need to realize that if they talk. Uh, talk about results and failures of Asian in itself, we also need to realize just how much contribution is Asian doing in these results and failures. So uh, that will be the main focus of our uh, closing, uh, closing opposition bench. So, uh, in order to learn what kind of uh, contribution that Asian has, that we need to realize that uh, the one thing is that Asian is not a single entity. So. Asian, like, uh, like how the opening bench said, is an association of the uh, Southeast Asian nation, right? So, of course, in and of itself, the Asian members itself are going to be uh, varied from multiple uh, Asian, Asian countries representative. So, this is why uh, uh, the biggest contribution itself, uh, like the opening opposition said, is equality in and of itself. Because if uh, Asian is an entity that is uh, dominated by one representative of an Asian country that is so developed, then obviously uh, their decision will probably uh, be, be biased to how it could, uh, how it could uh, potentially benefit their own country. So obviously with this in mind, uh, this could lead to one Asian country uh, being dominant in making decisions that could uh, potentially 
uh, save other Asian members or could potentially help other Asian members. Second thing that we need uh, that we need to Yo, I... on how much no thank you on how much Asian contributes to uh, to its role uh, being an association of Southeast Asian nation is that everything that they do is a consensus from the members itself. Remember, ASEAN here works as a mediator, and obviously they're not responsible for uh, they're not responsible for directly uh, making decisions into whatever crisis that is faced by the Asian nations itself. So obviously, they're here as the mediator, and where there's an urgency or there's a problem, or there is a situation that they need to talk about within the Asian countries itself, then they would call all members, or at least all representative of the Asian nation, and have a talk with them, and have a sit down with them. This, why, this, uh, this is so important that, uh, obviously back to my previous statement, that there can be a consensus of what they need to do in order to tackle this problem, not uh, not directly uh, talking to a Asian member as to what to do, uh, what they need to do in order to fix a particular problem. Everything here is decided by the member itself, not something that the Asian. Uh, no, thank you. Not something that Asian is done. Uh, that is being done by Asian uh, ASEAN itself. We also need to remember uh, remember. Uh, just how much uh, Asian is taken seriously by the public. Because if Asian is only so, uh, so little being put in the spotlight of the public eye, then obviously their, uh, their role might seem so little to the public. Because what they're doing is might be looking trivial for someone in the public eye, but what they're doing is pivotal for the safety of Asian itself. Why? Uh, why do us as the Kopsing opposition think of this? It's because that they keep Asian members in check in, our, uh, in terms of economy, maybe military, and other, uh, other factors that could be potentially dangerous to other Asian members. Maybe their relations to other countries, or maybe their, uh, uh, maybe their power, is, uh, their, uh, their status is rising as a country. Obviously, if they start to become dominant, Asian can call up any other member and then talk about uh, what uh, things that could potentially lead to the destruction of Asian itself. So that's why uh, this is done to prevent an Asian, uh, an Asian country to become a superpower so that it could take full control of uh, whole, the whole Asian, uh, the Asian association in itself. So, so, why that, uh, so why does this pivotal, pivotal uh, no thank you, uh, pivotal contribution is so mitigated is because that uh, its its attempts to do this is always somewhat hidden from the public eye because obviously uh, their attempts by Asian isn't uh, explicitly shown you uh, if we take a look at modern TV channels uh, none of them sh cover anything such as uh, such as uh, so little of them cover of any uh, Asian meetings or Asian consensus. Sure, you can look those uh, those meetings in uh, tabloids and news, but you rarely see them. But those are really specific so that people who want to search for any big decision made by Asian. So, if Asian uh, if Asian meeting were to go public uh, and were shown more into the public, then obviously there's going to be a more uh, more understanding of how Asian is playing its role uh, in keeping the, the balance between all Asian members. So obviously, the reason why they had to keep this hidden in, uh, in the end of the day is because they want to keep public unrest. Sure, we want more meetings by uh, Asian to be, uh, uh, to be shown to the public, what kind of consensus that they reach, and how would this affect the Asian countries itself. But if it's attempts to keep a nation in check, uh, so that uh, there's no one Asian uh, member that is growing so large that it could potentially topple all of Asian, then obviously they have to keep it hidden because they want to keep public unrest. So if, public un uh, if the public become, uh, becomes worried of the rise of one Asian member, then obviously there's going to be concern for that particular member. So that's why it's important to remember that so, uh, the reason why uh, Asian members, uh, Asian as an association itself is so uh, unappreciated and is considered a failure because their contribution is often overlooked by the general public. So that's why, as the closing opposition, we oppose. Thank you.
Okay, am I edible? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, judges, the need to remember is that a Asian have promises in the beginning of their success to so make the Asian countries success together in order to gain the cooperation and the equi and equality. And this is why at the very first place, the development is really needed in this kind of motion. And what opening benches have to do is like, they fail to explain why the mechanism make us believe that this has failed. Before, before going to that, I would like to rebuttal some kind of point, ladies and gentlemen, to respond for the OG. Okay, so the OG is failed to prove and to prove the belief why Asian is failed. They keep talking about the society, they, the society they failed, and like they're knowing that Asian, they say that Asian tourism needs to uh, have more power, but in fact is that Asian tourism is actually already famous upon the world, like Bali is very famous in the world. And they can, they can really divine the bear of inequality that happening in, in this Asian country. While what's happening is in the OO, they're forgetting about Asian own goal. The goal into like making peace, like being together and equal. All examples they, they have explained is actually only happened because the situation has happened. They only say about it because it happened and that is mean Asian only give move when the bad things happened. And and it's only to look good in the other company, like, like another country and you and something. And this is actually a very bad, and then it, is, it is a big failure that, 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 that really uh, prove of the lack of cooperation. And the last thing about CO, CO said about Asian, about we have to keep the society doesn't knowing about it because they're really like having domains. But, which, but the domain is, this is why at the very first place in our side of the house, we have, this is why Asian fell, because they don't have that relationship that they have to work together. And that's why there's some kind of, uh, this, this kind of country that having more important goals. And besides, CO really want the public in dress. They really want public to rest because like, uh, they doesn't really need to know anything, so some kind of, that to, to not make people, uh, not make Asian look failed. But actually most of, in, most of in, investor into Asian that giving the money is actually the public, like it's the big company. So if you just make them doesn't know about anything, what they, what they supposed to know? And it was just gonna totally bad. And that is, because, that, that is why we would like to uh, propose again our mechanism our system to push the economy so the inequality will be erased and move in the asian country but before going to that i would like to ex uh, explain more about what my first speaker already saying about about singapore singapore is the only one singapore is the only one of asian country is actually already developed this is why we can see clearly there is an inequality when the another country of Asian is actually fighting, fighting, all, fighting, fighting to get into top to be a developed country. But happening is only Singapore being the developed country. So that is why that is why at the very first place Asian has failed. Okay, and they actually have 
and there is the he there is a core country and actually we have to realize that Singapore is actually one of the Asian founder but Singapore doesn't really can connect it to make like some kind of uh, helping because of the high individuality this is what we are going to emphasize about high high individuality so what's happening in the status quo is like indonesia indonesia only focus on on their on their culture on the, their economic and doesn't really think about the another 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 country and, it's, and it is actually happening into another country too so they just like Indonesia focusing in Indonesia, Singapore focusing in Singapore, Thailand focusing in Thailand. So that is why there's a lot, a lot, a lot of individuality that cannot make, at the very first place, cannot make the Asian country gain together because they have a high individuality. And that's why in our system, we would not only gather together, but making this system. So we, will, we would like to push the economically better, not only for Singapore, because Singapore already had it. So we make the surveillance to monitoring, to giving the advice. Like, like for example, Singapore is a developing country, so Singapore can give the advice to Indonesia, giving advice to Malaysia and another Asian country to knowing how to grow, to grow with their own potential, to grow with the potential about the culture, to grow in the potential about the, about the, uh, maybe some kind of, um, Oh, okay, about the culture and also about the places. We have a lot of places in Asia that can promote in tourism, and that is why uh, at the very first place, uh, the one, the developed country in Asia, have to give the surveillance and monitoring and giving the advice. So all of the, so all of the, all of the Asian country can develop, can develop and having the same quality. So there, there is, there will be no equality, and it's because really, but. But the training, like the monetary and giving FS cannot only work by themselves. It has to be, uh, it has to be provided with this technical assistant. When the Asian giving the monitoring, but also giving the training, they giving the training. So, so the, another Asian country can work best in this scenario. And that is why, but what's happening is in Asian, like, some kind of Asian doesn't really have that much of money, much of economy. That's why at the church system, we would like to give lending. So Asian, Asian, Asian that having the money will giving the land to the country that needed it. And that's why another Asian country who probably doesn't really develop well as Singapore and some kind out of that will, they will have a sense to develop because they already know the they already know how to do with this kind of system they already know how to do and they actually having the money because of the lending so that's why we are very proud to propose thank you Yes. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the government bans bring their two metric. The first metric is about the first metric is about OG brings that the in, the interventions of the Asia. What kind in, in if there is a problems in in the con, the member of the country in Asia, they have to intervene. Success. They give the example for example Malaysia and Indonesia is about culture and the go, colossal government want to the regulation. Uh, from the ASEANs to force all the member improve results together. But there are several rep responses that I will bring to break down the cases that cannot occur in their side of the house. The first matrix is about the intervention of ASEA. We have to know what is the functions of ASEA itself. ASEA is like an organization to gather all the country. But who, who holds the first, the first decisions in of the member, it's the country itself. So for example, in the case of Malaysia and Indonesia about the culture, 
uh, the ASEAN already gathered them. Of course, in the first place, they gather together what is a, what happened in that country itself. For example, why there are problems, success, and culture. But however, the, the the decisions to solve the problem is come from the country itself. So in so ASEAN is come as, as a third parties to gather all the organizations in ASEAN. We have to know that in the first place, ladies and gentlemen. And then the second one is about the regulation to force all the country in South East Asia to improve together. We have to know every country has a, their own identity, the economic situations, and the different pace. And for example, uh, for example, in Singapore, they already developed. And then the second one, Indonesia is still developing country. We, we already know that. But if we gather the same regulation to do the force them to, to do, and ASEAN forcing the, but however, ASEAN is only organization together, to, to gathering, but the, the biggest regulations that occur inform its country. And what is, so why we, we have to, why those kind of problems determine the fail of the ASEAN? We cannot determine those kind of the problem as a as the as the assumption the the assumption that say that ASEAN has failed there are a lot of there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of the things that already occur in ASEAN uh, in ASEAN as an organization to gather all the southeast what is the first background occur in ASEAN ASEAN is made when we all when we have an interfaces from other from other the biggest country in the world success US Japan they are the biggest country that inflations our country so the the first thing that ASEAN Asia Southeast Asia can do is gather yeah, and that get not thank you to get gathering together to to make their own strong, but but there is but at the end of the day, the, the decision is based on their style to solve the problem. So ASEAN is only the place as the mediator to to have a discussions and meeting and meeting what happened in their own country. But however, those are pro, those are regulations and those are the things that you, they want and say that why the ASEAN has failed is it doesn't really then this that is only the assumptions that occur in that side of the house. We because we strongly believe we not only think about the latest what have been done by the ASEAN itself, but we also thought about the future. The because the backgrounds of ASEAN come is because we already have an invasion, right? So that is why we have to know. For example, like this. Okay, there are a lot of problems occur, of course. From the if there are bilateral bilateral cooperation from those of a country, of course sometimes there are a, there are a lot of the problems occur. But but how uh, but how the things that ASEAN can do because it's gathered from a lot of countries, they only can do the mediations. But the decision is the decisions for, to resolve the uh, problem itself is come, only come from the country. So that is why we cannot say that the, there is no action comes from the ASEAN, and we can it's not determined that. Has ASEAN has play. Yes, please. Okay, so if you say that intervention is bad, I mean, if you see your own brother suffering, would you just let him be and watch him struggle? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I know. Okay, you say that the intervention, we, the organization is the place, the place to gather, to gather all the country, right? But where comes the regulations itself? How to resolve the problem is based on the country because the, like, your, your mechanism say that like this, we have to gather all the country to force, uh, to force them to follow up together, but we have to know they have a different I identity, they have a different problem, they have a the pace itself. So who knows better, ASEAN or the country itself? Of course, the country itself. The, uh, the ASEAN is only place to share what, what, what we have to discuss is only place to discuss we have to know that in the first place ladies and gentlemen and then and the second of all we have to know that where cooperation is really needed if there if you say that ASEAN has failed has failed to to do something but I with our side of the house we don't think ASEAN has failed when you work something there are the there are a time there are several of time that we the progress itself there are several the time that cannot work as you think but however it cannot be determined that in ASEAN has failed to prove together all the southeast country to in to improve together as a as on their decisions, ladies and gentlemen. And the second of all, we have to know that that uh, we have to know that we have to know. All right. Uh, 
ASEAN issues together South East country, they become a united. United is doesn't mean, united is doesn't mean the ASEAN should intervene. All the matters comes to the, its country. United when we ha want to have an identity as an ASEAN, as, as an ASEAN that we ASEAN to be together. So if so, because the South East Asia is the country near to you, so you you can discuss what is the problem near the ASEAN. See, so so we have to know that, ladies and gentlemen. So we cannot determine just like the other side of the has said that ASEAN has failed to prove to you to improve to improve or uh, to improve on solve the problem that occurred the South East Asia countries, ladies and gentlemen. So our side of the house strongly believe that the ASEAN has to do a lot of things to improve on our side. For example, uh, like my my first speaker says, bring up to you that uh, there sometimes when you do a meetings, not do the meeting. For, for example, there's a, there's a, a lot of uh, from a South Asia gather together to uh, get to discuss what is happened from its own country. They only can discuss. Oh, I think from my perspective, uh, from my, my our country's perspective, we have to do, uh, we do this to solve this. All right, so in the end of the day, the country that accept the advice, it comes, the regulation is come from the self. So ASEAN cannot do anything because it's their own decisions, ladies and gentlemen. So we have to determine, so whatever the condition and situation, it can be determined as a failed institutions as an ASEAN. So I proudly to oppose, thank you.